Matt with Hobby King, and I'm very excited to bring you something I enjoy a lot. Uh, this is the new version of our HK Pilot 2.7 Mega. Now, what is this thing? This is an autonomous flight controller or an autopilot for pretty much whatever it is you care to make. This thing can be used to make land vehicles, boats, planes, copters, you name it, and give them autonomous fly-by-wire functions. Very, very cool. Over the coming months, I'm going to present sort of a definitive series on how to use this thing, what you can build with it, kind of tips and tricks and hints for getting the most out of this controller. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking about this thing. If you're one of those folks that wanted to know more and how to use this thing, stay tuned because we're bringing it to you right now. Before I go into all that though, what is it? Where did it come from? Uh, it's a flight controller and it's an open source project that started back in 2007. Believe it or not, the first versions of this thing measured whether they were level or not by a temperature difference between the sky and the ground. Uh, it was a bit primitive, but it did work. Now, since then, uh, obviously they've come a long way. These things have crazy features. They have accelerometers, they have gyroscopes, barometers, magnetometers, GPS, you name it, all kinds of crazy stuff. I'll explain all that later. If it doesn't make any sense to you, don't worry. I will uh, kind of help you guys understand. Now, the flight controller is only one part of a very cool system. In addition to the flight controller, to get the most out of this thing, you're also gonna want something like this, our high performance, uh, high accuracy GPS with a built-in digital compass. This guy plugs right into the board, comes with this handy stand for getting it away from uh, magnetic interference and other things. Again, I'll explain why you need that later. Additionally, there's all kinds of cool sensors. This is an amp meter uh, and voltage meter. This thing plugs in so you have real-time data about your current draw, as well as your remaining battery voltage and estimate your flight times and things like that. They also have an OSD. This is an on-screen display device for use with FPV. Uses the same uh, you know, telemetry and information that gets provided to other systems based on something called Mavlink, which is very, very cool. Uh, a major component of all of this is the software that links everything together and lets you do all your setup. We'll go into that later as well. Now, sort of the real magic in all of this is this device right here. Now this is two-way telemetry. And what this does, uh, they come in two forms, either 433 or 915 megahertz. Uh, these are 915s. If you have a 433 megahertz system, you have longer range, but it's important to note you will need a ham radio license use that stuff appropriately and legally. 915, most places, is an okay band to use. What is it? This lets you communicate with the flight controller from a tablet or from a computer and send real-time instructions back and forth as well as get real-time data about the location of the copter. In other words, this allows you to fly without a transmitter. You can actually click to fly, build waypoints, and send the copter off without the use of an RC transmitter. It will go all the way from takeoff to return and landing entirely on its own. Super, super cool. Uh, build your waypoints, click, off it goes. You can also tell it to do different things when it gets to those waypoints. So when it gets to a location, you can tell it to fly through and keep going. It can stop and loiter, turn and face a certain direction, etc. All kinds of stuff. To be honest, guys, I haven't even done that much of it. I'm going to be exploring this along with you. It's going to be very, very fun. Now, not enough just to have cool autonomous flying machine, you want to be able to see where your cool autonomous flying machine is going. So in order to use the OSD, we're going to add FPV gear. We have this cool pan and tilt camera right here. You've seen that from the Sky Mule video and other things uh, with Stuart Rock and that guy, and also uh, our ever-present little Mobius camera. We've really fallen in love with this little guy. Uh, it's kick-ass HD footage and also does a really good job. Uh, you can use it as a live out camera for FPV, but I like using two cameras so I can look around and also have that Mobius on a fixed location. Uh, for receiving all of that, we've got our cool new seven inch LCD receiver monitor combo. This is super cool. It's a full diversity 5.8 uh, FPV receiver built directly into the monitor. So when you go to the field, all you really need for this kind of FPV work is that monitor and a tripod and off you go. So stay tuned for the definitive series on this, the HK Pilot Mega 2.7. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've got some crazy tricks up my sleeve for what it is I want to build and how I want to use this thing. Come along for the journey. It should be awesome. <laughs>